Mars Pet. Oh, oh, it's a MR2. Driving Nemo. Oh. For a noise. Half day. Like like explosion. It's different. Lifted. Oh my god. Gridlock. Chloe. <laughs> Fake sex. I'm in this way. Oh. Oh. Tom fell into the bush. Madam C and welcome to Cornwall and my Toyota Chaser and probably one of the most exciting evening car meets that I have ever done. So it is my birthday weekend and Chloe and I have planned to go down to Cornwall to celebrate the big day and I put a post out asking if there were any car meets that we could do whilst we were here and Cornish JDM got in touch and they actually organised a car meet specifically for the fact that I was in Cornwall. Originally we were going to take the Toyota IQ, Chloe's little fridge, but now it's like, oh, we're going to have to take one of my cars. So here we are in the Chaser in Cornwall. We are far away from where we normally go. So, oh my God, balloons. <laughs> um, yeah, it is a birthday trip, so there are balloons everywhere. And I'm doing awkward maneuvers. Um, they originally planned to host the meet at Cornish Services. But when pretty much the whole of Cornwall got word that I would be down here, they realised that they would outgrow the service station and the police decided, no, you're not having it, no car meets there for the entire weekend. So they had to find another venue, so they went to Sam's Diner and asked if they could host there. And the legends that is Sam's Diner, they have accepted to host the meet tonight. And everyone's been saying that the whole of Cornwall in the car scene has found out about this and they're all going to be down down there all enjoying the white chase there will be some other chases there as well it's going to be chaos so we're going to get a bit early but we've done a bit of a driving tour we started at Cheddar Gorge which is great although a bit rainy and now we're down in Cornwall we're going to feed some chunky seals tomorrow morning as well so a bit of variety but here we are in the chaser there's definitely a car scene in Cornwall that is noticeable although no one seems to be in a rush well I'm actually quite lucky I've got a clear road ahead of me but when you do get stuck behind a car, you're going like 50% of the speed limit, which is a little bit annoying because some of the roads are great. So we're going to get to Sam's Diner and see how many hundreds, if not thousands of cars turn up to celebrate the fact that I've come all the way down here. I'm actually a little bit anxious about this, a bit nervous, but it's going to be great. Um, so we're about 40 minutes early, maybe even 45 minutes early, and the car park is pretty full. <laughs> We were, we were going to just do like a drive-by, see how it is, maybe go to the pub and then come back later. Hello! <laughs> oh my, everyone is an eager beaver here. There are probably about 250 cars already and it does not start for 45 minutes. <laughs> There's a white chaser ahead! <laughs> yes! That was my international call of... He revved back! <laughs> international call of chaser. This is going to be a, a, a big one. There's a bit of lighting, so that's good, but it gets dark. Are you the man that they're all waiting for? Apparently right? so, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, as you can see, it's already starting to fill up. I didn't expect it to be that busy this early, but I'm glad I did get here, <laughs> here this go. early. Yep, that chaser's got the body kit that I may or may not want for this car, or I've already bought for it. Okay. Hello. Nice bit of face there, eh? Do you yes. want to next to the other one? Uh, in a disabled bay, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Oh, look, there's the merch. The merch is being repped. I like the merch. So, it seems to be heavily bases around some boosted barges. We've got the two white chasers. We've got this Nissan Loria, or Loria. I'm not too great at these ones. We've got the Mitsubishi and the S15 behind me. And then we've got Sergeant Owen Messenger and the police force right at the front of the show. And you can see how busy it is getting already. That is fantastic. How are you feeling, Chloe? Excited because we've still got like 40 minutes and this is the turnout already. So I have been informed this is a Nissan Sema, so the same platform as the Gloria, as the Lull, and it has a Honda NSX behind it that's just arrived as well. Take a look at that S15, that is remarkable. So I am vastly looking forward to seeing new cars that I haven't seen before because I tend to see the same stuff at all the meets I go to because we're about five hours away from home. So some of these cars, I have seen that at shows before, but some of them, most of them, I will not not have seen. There are cars still arriving on the road. I saw an RX-7 go the wrong way. And there have been various clubs hosting convoys on the way down here. So we're going to see big packs of cars coming in as a clan. That Evo looks
looks beautiful, midnight purple. There is the RX-7. I've also noticed like, a vast Subaru presence at the... Oh. And look, the best colour for any car, specifically a 350Z. This is a factory colour. And as ever, it's great to see a variety of cars at meets like this. So the RX-7 is starting off a bit of a premiere section right at the front of the show, as well as a little Mark II Escort estate. And here is another yellow 350Z, which is the best colour. And last night, another fellow YouTuber, Brett Barnes, and his girlfriend, Josie, took us out for a meal, and they told us about their little Nissan Micra K10 that they've modified and revealing at this meet, and here it is, and it looks atrocious. I I'm joking, it doesn't. So this this might be Adam Seafest. Is it going to be Adam Seafest? Certainly will. Certainly will be. There we go, the new look revealed tonight. So we're thinking this might be the first ever bagged K10 Micra in the world. There's not much evidence online about other ones being done. Let me know in the comments if you know of one. Here is Brett's M1 something I that we were out in last night, although it couldn't get much grip in the rainy weather, but we have glorious-ish sunshine-ish, weather-ish in Cornwall, which rarely happens. But there you go, Nissan Micra. So that was that, and this is a Tursal in front of an MX-5. I think we make quite a nice pair there. Also, there's BMW powering a Mitsubishi, unless it's just the cover. We've got GT86 next to BRZ, and in the distance there's a bit of a vast crowd around where the arrivals are, and they've already started filling up the overflow car park, so we're going to run out of space tonight. So on the road is a bit of gridlock. There's a JZX100 Toyota Mark II, amongst others. We'll have a look and see what's going on down there. There's a Supra. So this is the overflow car park and apparently they've never actually had to fill any of this before. So that's the clue. This might be the busiest car meets that's ever happened in Cornwall, but we can't prove that, but this might be the case. There's a Trans Am with brave wheels parked at the front. There's a Subaru van just behind some other Subarus. Chloe's loving the Trans Am. I don't know whether it'd be wise for me to stand here and film the cars because revolutions may start happening and that's not quite what the police want tonight and there are some 350Zs and they tend to rev more than others yeah oh they're telling off anyway. yeah so I'm gonna go inside because the, the marshal is telling people not to rev because the police are telling people off and we yeah we've just noticed the MX-5 is parked up and having a, a telling off oh 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 another best colour obviously on a car Nissan Skyline R32 pretty slammed in yellow with a black no carbon bonnet on it that's obviously something I've not seen before this is actually wrapped yellow a wrapped yellow Nissan sounds good even the gear stick is wrapped. Take a look at that. And in front, we've even got a lifted off-road Audi Q7 with like a, a cut rear bumper, off-roading tyres. It's been painted in that kind of hard-wearing, I don't even know, I'm not an off-roader, I don't know, but they've cut the front bumper as well. It's got a winch, it's got the light bar, even got the spare wheel on its roof. On a Q7. And one of the cleanest cars of the meters, this turquoise Honda S2000. Carbon fibre everywhere. There's a bit of art in the puddle there. Get the reflection shots but alternatively to that just behind it we have a mini with some copper coins is that meant to be a bomb and an atom ship or a fish there's some fake grass or it could be real I'm presuming replica grass on the spoiler some um, 90s max power style need for speed sticker bomb on the back as well we've got the rusty panels too oh look you've got the fake grass inside as well and the rubber ducky what's under the bonnet Lego and some gold dust and whatnot. Do you see in the background there's another Supra that's arrived in front of Borat? This car park's gonna fill up, they're gonna have to turn cars away. There's a Corvette C4, and yes, the meter's now five minutes into it, and we're almost full. Further down, we have the visual pleasures of an R32 GTR and its impeccable RB26 on display. And what is this that we're being treated to? Beefy body kit on the Sora. Is that a Batmobile? Is that a beagle? <laughs> a what? A beagle? Oh, there, there, is a, there is a beagle as well, but more importantly, for now, there's a Batmobile <laughs> being followed by a, an orange velvet smart car. <gasps> it's Nemo! Oh, it's Nemo! A Batmobile and Nemo. We've got all the characters. Look, the police are loving the arrivals. Probably telling them that you can't really MOT a car like that, but maybe you can. Here we go. I don't know what car it is yet. It could... Well, it's an MR2. It's an MR2. Of course it is. Mark II MR2. Look at the roof line. Oh, yeah. 
Are they telling Batman to go away? Oh, Batman's been turned away. So has Nemo. So whilst the Dark Knight rises to the challenge of finding a space, here is the beefy Toyota Sora, or Lexus alternative, but I'm presuming it's a Sora. Yes, Sora, and he's lucky he has the clearance of the curb there. That's one of the uh, most extreme kits I've seen on the car. But apparently, Batman has Lambo doors, so we're going to have a look at that as well. There's some... They're being told off for that. So here we are at the movie corner, Batman and driving Nemo, the little smart car. This is the best car of the meet so far. Is it an MR2? It is. It is. I recognise the roof line. Open the doors. Open the doors. Custom doors. Does it come out first and then up? And then up. But they're homemade. Homemade. Not I'll try not to break them then. There we go. Lambo doors on the Batmobile. This is what Batman drives. He has his hand on his own head when he changes gear. Is this effectively the bonnet, like to access the engine? Oh, you, you can still get yeah, into still there. Get there. I didn't know if that was the only way in. No, no, oh, you the still can. The so this has been made out of steel, and apparently it's still lighter than an original MR2. It's completely different, and here is a Nissan Stager with an R34 front end. But of course, next to Batman, we have Nemo, driving Nemo with the kind of fuzzy, furry, very soft and cuddly. It's, it's a charity job. These two drive around Europe together, um, breaking necks. Apparently, a car was looking at this car, and then he crashed into 10 cars because he got distracted by the MR2 that is actually Batman. And there's a turbocharged whip. It's a glass. Now looking at the bareness of the entrance, I'm reckoning they're going to have to start turning people away. We have a Ferrari Portofino pulling in, but the car park is rapidly filling. On the road we've got an R33 hoping to make it in, E36 as well, and I've just stepped in some dog dirt. Oh. Yeah, they're not gonna. They're not gonna make it. Should we walk? Down? Yeah, let's walk down. Hello, hello. So we got the Scirocco, the Fiesta ST. We have got a green Scirocco with green lights and green neons. He's bringing neons back. I was meant to put neons on the chase of it this weekend, and I didn't get round to it. But I'm sure other cars will have similar delights. Um, I don't know how far this traffic goes. We'll walk down a bit and see what else is coming in. Oh, check out the Chevy. Is it a C10? Oh, another police car. Um, yeah, this is this is quite. Busy. I'm glad I was early. Got the S2000 as well. Some V8 noises from the Chevy. Yes, side pipes, like it. So welcome to the Magic Roundabout. This is where all the cars come from and go to. And that's the queue still going on up there. Yes, they're a noise. Hopefully these cars will make it inside. It'll be a shame for them to come all the way down here and not go in. The police have pulled up and they're going to park there for the majority of the time. A lot of people have come from all over the county, even from Devon and other parts of the country, just for this meet. One of the busiest meets that Cornwall has ever seen. Because it's my birthday! So here is an overview of the site and the amount of cars that have turned up so far. It is a busy one! And here's a visual demonstration of the popularity. This isn't a parking space, this is a road, but we've parked the cars here. And further down, we've stance parked cars on the actual road bit as well, which looks nice. But right at the back of the meet, we have this wide arched Subaru. If you come around the rear, you can see the spotless fuel tank and the huge diffuser that houses the twin pipes. It's also quite a unique solution to number plate housing. They've, they've cut it in half and it's broken even more. But I like it, it's, it's different. But here, once again, is my slightly dirty chaser after five hours of driving next to the white example again, but with a vertex body kit and we now have a JZX100 series of Mark II creating a little trio of boosted barges. Or maybe even a quads rear, I don't know the name for four because we've got the Nissan as well creating a nice combo. So Mark II, Chaser Chaser, SEMA and then the police with the Mitsubishi GTO and others. And behind the Peugeot 206, Chloe's noticed a real taxi. This is, I promise this is real. It's got a bit of a sticker showcase. Makes surfing weird again. Can you see anything obvious? Any uh, any telltale signs? It's got white walls, it's white walling the world, and a surfboard on the roof. And now for something a bit different, I've just signed the bumper of this Mini from earlier. That's going to be lacquered over now, yeah? Yeah, that's permanent, that's there to stay. But we're once again back at the main part of the show where the chasers are, and I've been looking for this beetle, it's just repositioned itself. I think it's like a Repsol livery on it, like a barger bug with a big aerial, next to a slammed Volvo. Chloe's enjoying this car more than most of the meets. It's got so much going on, she 
you can't contain herself. The Volvo's cool. But on the roadside, we have two police officers, an angry man in a van talking about what's going on, and an explosion <laughs> just beyond the crowded departure lounge of the meet. So cars are leaving slowly. So they've got their speed gun out, it seems. I think that's what it is. Either that or he's recording items for his YouTube channel and everyone's lined the streets to watch the cars do no sense. Oh, they're after no one. So now that the police have gone, more vans happening. There is a policeman officer just down there. Maybe he's just pulled someone over. I can't quite tell. Oh no, he's camping there instead. So there goes the GTO. Police are going to be there for the remainder of the meet, although the Swift is back. There goes the SEMA. V8 underneath the bonnet there. And looky here, a late arrival, the third Mark IV Supra of the meet. Don't think he's getting in anymore. No more room for him. But it is pretty crazy, and this is a scene that the guys in Cornwall aren't used to, they've been telling me, whereas where I'm from, we, we see this quite often. But it's fine, it's fun, it's good, it's different. People on the streets are like, what is going on? Why are the people here? Why are the police here? Why is there a fiesta leaving? We have Owen right on the gates telling people to behave as they depart the meet. And in the meantime, Nemo is swimming away. Nemo has neons! <laughs> oh, goodbye, Nemo. Well, we found him. But one of the best and biggest and boldest modifications I've seen at this meet so far is standing right in front of me. That is the cardboard spoiler. I said cardboard. The cardboard spoiler on the Mini. But just down from that, we have a lifted Harlequin Mazda MX-5 again with a spoiler. Central exit exhaust as well. We've got orange, purple, greens, whites, pinks, and a chalkboard bonnet. But now as the night is getting darker, neons are being brought back by a lot of the attendees. But we... Oh my god! Wheel spins happening in front. We haven't eaten yet, so we need to see when Sam stops serving food so we can eat. But after a wonderful meal at the diner, it seems we have gridlock of cars leaving still as the lights dim even more. Oh, the chaser has left. Chloe's got a surprise for me, apparently, so I'm going to unlock the car. Can I have the... What, you want the key? Yes. Do you know how it works? Chloe, you're meant to unlock it first. Oh, oh you see, that's what happens. <laughs> right, Chloe has summoned me. What, surprise, it's on the wing. What am I doing? It's on the wing, is it? Yes. Oh, there's a birthday cake and the candles are going out very slow. Oh. But Chloe, I'm 25. No, you're not. <laughs> Should you really put flames on the car? Well, there we go. We don't actually have a knife, do we? So we I'll have a foot. Oh. Yeah. Um. But another one of the departures is this Toyota Supra, white Supra, white Chaser, which is now having a cake put in its boots, and the Toyota Aristo behind it. <laughs> a fake taxi. I've got to tread carefully here because lights are on, but no one's inside. There's a lot of footprints. So here we are at the exit, waiting for the Supra to depart. I know you want to film it, but they can't see the traffic that's coming this way. Thank you. He's been demonstrating the flutter. Thank you very much. He's got pops and bangs in his wagon. Oh. Right. He's going to get noticed. 
pointed down. Oh, look, look, they're going after him. That's it. But as the evening is drawing to a close, we are going to head off ourselves. I shall film our departure through the crowd. Chloe, have you noticed the real taxi that isn't real? It's fake. There's three people in the back. That sounds like a fun video. I'd sort the light before he passes through. I think I'm all legal at the moment, so I should be fine to leave. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks to Cornish JDM for putting on this meet and all the other clubs and attendees here tonight and to Sam's Diner for hosting. Oh, balloons. Yeah. We knew this would be a problem. Chloe, no, balloons are going everywhere. The hat doesn't fit in the car. That's a design flaw by Toyota. I think in the time I've taken to warm up the car, everyone's left. Oh no, there's still a few people at the exit. Well, look, people are running. They're going to film the very exciting shot of me leaving very slowly. With a caterpillar. With a caterpillar. <laughs> little, little rev. <laughs> oh, someone fell into the bush. <laughs> Lovely. See you soon. Anyway, Thank you. Drive carefully. Will do. So that was the Cornish JDM meet at Sam's Diner in Cornwall. Tomorrow we're going to go see some seals. Chloe's looking forward to that, so we're going to feed them. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Follow me on Instagram for the updates, highlights and pictures that I take at these meets in Cornwall. Where else? But for now, thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Cooper. Is My name is not Colin. No, because we get... Legal advice if you call him Colin. Please don't include this. I will. No! <laughs>